I'm over here back with another video and I wanted to show you um, the air cleaners when I how I machine them and everything and I wanted to show you over here um, this is what they look like you know after they're casted and you know they're all sanded everything sanded and everything and it's real nice that's what they look like and then uh, the next step is I have to start machining them you know so I wanted to show you and um, right here, you know, there's a lot of metal in here and stuff. And uh, the drawer has to fit, you know. And it's uh, it won't go in because of this chunk of metal here, you know, and all this stuff. So I have to go in there and grind everything out and uh, make everything fit. So I'm going to work on that now, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. And then after that, I got some other steps I got to do to... Uh, machine the hole and everything for the jaw, connect it, and countersink it, and then I got to th uh, drill some holes underneath, you know, where the plate goes on, you know, where it goes on, sits on the carburetor. These got to be drilled and threaded, and then, uh, you know, I clean the teeth up, you know, with a file, got to fix that up. In the eye sockets, I got to go over that with a Dremel, you know, get all the rough spots out and everything, and, uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you real quick uh, how I finish these air cleaners, you know. And uh, it's a lot of work, you know. People go, oh, how come they're so expensive? I got so many hours into this thing. It's like unreal, you know. And they're all custom made. Everything, every one of them is custom made. So that's why, you know, they're not made on assembly line and not made in China or Japan where they got low... Uh, you know, they don't pay as much and everything. They work for like nothing, you know. This is made in the USA, you know. So, uh, all right, I'm going to go ahead and machine that out, and I'll show you in a second. All right, I just ground out all that metal. I actually use this. It's got a real aggressive bit on here, so it takes off a lot of aluminum. So I got all that out, and then what I do, I take a file. I file, you know, I go over it with the file. Get it real smooth, you know. Yeah, it's getting there. It's a lot of work, you know. I'll show you what it looks like when I get this uh, file. Yeah, so I got all this done, you know, in the opening for the jaw. And now I'm going ahead and uh, file the teeth, you know, get everything cleaned up. Make the teeth real nice. Yeah, I should have been a dentist, but it just, I just ended up making the skulls, you know. But, uh, yeah, I want to make the teeth real nice. A lot of detail, you know. I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, here it is. I just did the teeth, you know, I filed all these and everything. Fixed this up a little bit, you know, I couldn't get in there with the belt sander. And then as you can see now, you know, it's all real nice. And, uh, and here's the jaw, and it fits in there perfect now. Yeah, it's pretty good. So now I got to go to the next step, and uh, I'll show you guys in a minute what I got to do. So uh, let me uh, put the jaw in. I got to tape it in place, and uh, I'll show you. All right. So I got some uh, masking tape here, and what I do is uh, I put the jaw in place. You know, make sure it's all flush and everything. And then I take the tape and I start up here you know, near the top, and then I go like that, and this actually holds it where it's got to be, and I do these with the uh, skull headlights also, you know, everything has to, like, hold it in place, so, I did that, 
Yeah. And take this. This whole pull it. You know, pull it closed. Because, you know, when I drill these holes here, everything has to be in the right place. So. And you don't want it to move, you know. If it moves, then the everything's out of whack, you know. So you can see it holds it right in there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, drill it now. drilled and you could see there's the hole right there and it went right through to the jaw and what I do is I take this uh, quarter 20 bolt and I stick it through the hole I just drilled and that helps hold it in place so when I do the other side you know it's it's more likely not to move so I just push that in like that and then I flip it over and then I drill the other hole so that's what, that's the next step I gotta do. All right, after it's drilled, it's a quarter 20 drill, the quarter inch. Anyway, um, I take all the tape off that held it in place. Just rip it off, you know. And then, uh, yeah, well anyway, you know, here's the jaw and everything. And then, uh, after I do that, I gotta start, I gotta get this uh, other bit here. It's, uh, it actually, you know, it's an end mill. And this actually goes, you know, I, it goes into that hole with the pilot. You know, it's got a pilot on the end and it goes into the quarter inch hole. And then it cleans it up real nice, you know? So I gotta do that next. Yeah, I got to do this the way I do it because uh, it's just me taking the video, so it's hard to hold the camera and do everything. So, plus I'm making the video go a lot faster, just showing you step by step. All right, I just uh, kind of sunk the holes. I don't know if you can see, makes it real nice. You know, cleans it up real nice. Little bolt gets in there, and you know, looks really nice. All right, next step is I got to take this plate here. This is the plate that sits on the carburetor that the air cleaner goes on. So I got to drill the holes for it. So what I do here, I use this uh, template and I make sure everything's straight. And then I got to punch the holes, you know, you know, where the holes go and everything, center punch them, then take it off. And then I got to drill it and thread it to a uh, quarter 20. So that's the next step I got to do right now. I got it all center punched. And now uh, I'm going to go ahead and start drilling the holes. Get this all done. And then I have to uh, thread the holes. All right, next step, I gotta thread them. And then uh, after that, I gotta make sure, you know, put the bolt through, put the jaw on, make sure everything lines up right, the holes. If not, I gotta get it, every, you know, drill it out a little more or something. The last thing I have to do to this air cleaner is mount a screw inside the, uh, inside this opening here. You know, under, under like where the nose is on the inside. And what that screw does, it holds the spring that go, the, the spring goes around that screw 
and then it go, connects to the jaw. So that, ho that holds the jaw shut. So when you give it the gas, another spring that ho that's hooked up to the side of the jaw pulls it open. And then when you let off on the gas, the spring that uh, holds the jaw closed is, you know, that's what does it, you know. All right, um, got to go to the next step here. I'm going to drill it. Got the drill here. It's already set up. And I'm going to drill that hole in here. All right, I got the screw in there. You can see it. And like I said, that's where the spring wraps around. And then uh, goes up to the jaw and holds the jaw in. So I got that all mounted. Next step I got to do, I got to drill a hole over here in the you know, in the jaw. So another spring goes to the uh, linkage on the carburetor. And that's what pulls the jaw open and close. All right, just got that hole drilled. You can see it. Now I got to thread it, quarter 20. And uh, that's what pulls the jaw open and close. A little bolt goes in there, thread it in. And then you connect the spring to it, to the linkage on the carburetor. And that's what pulls it open and shut. All right, I just threaded everything. And uh, now I'm going over here to my deburring machine. And I put it in here for about, eh, I'd say about three hours or so. And uh, that uh, it smooths everything. You know, it tumbles it and smooths it all out and gives it a nice finish. And uh, and then it's done. And then after that, you know, they used to be polished or painted or whatever you want to do with it. And uh, all right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. And uh, we'll keep making more videos. And that's how we do it at Cool Ass Parts. Yep. You guys take care.